Hello, my name is John Oxendorf. I'm professor of architecture and engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and director of the Guastavino Project at MIT. The Boston Public Library was the first major public building constructed by the Guastavino Company. While we're not exactly certain how Rafael Guastavino Sr. became involved in the project, he was not involved from the very beginning. In fact, he only entered the project after it was well under construction, when the architect Charles Fallen McKim was deeply concerned with methods of constructing a fireproof building. The Boston Public Library was really a seminal project for the company. He used it to advertise his system, and as you walk through the library, you can see seven different types of Guastavino vaulting, so that as future clients and architects came to admire the new building, they could see what Guastavino was able to do. It's important to note that Charles McKim, the architect, left a lot of discretion to Guastavino. He gave Guastavino the freedom to develop the geometry of the ceilings because the geometry was inherent to the construction method as well as the structural system. And so this was a period in American history, this was a period in architectural history, when there were very few drawings for projects and craftsmen were trusted to carry out the work in a professional and elegant way. The Boston Public Library was the first major project where Guastavino decided to leave the bricks exposed in the ceiling and that went on to influence many of his other projects. He went on to do more than 40 major buildings with the firm McKim, Mead & White and it was really this project that led to hundreds of others around the country. The grand entrance lobby of the Boston Public Library has a beautiful decorative mosaic ceiling. It's important to note that this was done by mosaic artists of the time and not by the Guastavino Company. The structural system by Guastavino is above this decorative uh, mosaic work. And the Guastavino Company was paid only about 30 cents per square foot for their construction system in the library. The mosaic artists were paid three dollars a square foot, so ten times as much. Uh, but at the time, the Guastavino method was among the most economical and durable solutions available to architects and builders, which was why it was used in hundreds of buildings in this time period. When Guastavino got the contract to build the Boston Public Library in 1889, that gave him a large enough contract that it allowed him to start his own company, the Guastavino Fireproof Construction Company. And with the contract of almost $90,000 in hand, he was able to incorporate this company in New York and Boston. And when the library opened in 1895, it provided an immediate advertisement for the Guastavino system, and within a decade he had already built more than 100 buildings up and down the East Coast. So once this project really uh, got his foot in the door, it allowed Guastavino to access leading architects of the day and to introduce his system into major buildings around the United States.